This is my Yacht 67 welcoming you back with Dax Isidore Fist behind us on this glorious day. Look at that. And, um, oh, a little leaf. Yes, I see the white marker over there. Anyway, I'm going to. Oh, let's go talk to somebody up here. I saw somebody up here. Oh, what's the person there? You, you, you. you cannot be spoken to. Right, let's go. Oh! Hatchet hand. Interesting name. You're wearing that gear into the arena? Well, I'd bring along a restoration staff or two if I were you. If you wish. Cooking fire. Made door dear the daunted. As long as no one hits me in the face, I'll be fine. I hate it when people hit me in the face. You know, I have a good thing to help against that. Um, wear a helmet. What a face guard. Nope, that one doesn't speak. Fino Renier. You're not a stonefish. State your business, or move along if you please. What is a stonefish? You haven't heard of us. I really need to talk to that bard we paid to sing of our exploits back in Belkarth. Stonefish? That's the name of your group? Yes, the Stonefish. We've come to the arena with the best weapons, the best armor, and the best muscle. You won't find a more professional outfit in all of Craglorn. All their gear must be expensive. Of course. Our patrons have been very generous. Your patrons? Our patrons are extremely private individuals, and frankly, their identities are none of your concern. They have a vested interest in what lies at the end of the arena, and it's our job to get there so they can find out. To find out what lies at the end? Oh, sounds interesting. How long have you been waiting to enter the arena? Long enough to see three groups of warriors get hauled out on litters. As far as I can tell, a fight in the arena is certainly no day at the fair. Three groups? That doesn't sound too bad. Well, then there were the nine groups that were hauled out in black canvas bags. What was left of them, in any event? Make no mistake, the arena is a bloodbath. It will eat you alive and spit out your bones. You sound a little worried. It actually doesn't. Worried? Me? Ridiculous. The stonefish are far too well equipped to worry about anything short of a Daedric Prince. And what would a Daedric Prince be doing in a place like this? Aha. Uh -huh. Good point. You should hope there's one, not one here. Steal from somebody's truck. Anyway, let's go, go and have a look. What else have we... Left or right? Left. Him! Come to spit on us like the rest of these thugs? I'll tell you what I told the others. We're here to compete in the arena, nothing more. The other competitors are harassing you. We're all that's left of the lost swords. Guilt by association. You know how it is. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't know? We have a complicated relationship with the scaled court. It wasn't common knowledge until recently. Orky knows how these thick-headed pit rats found out. You are part of the Scaled Court? Not us, personally. Like I said, it's complicated. Our mercenary troops settled in Craglorn after we couldn't find work in Cyrodiil. Eventually, an Imperial Mage approached us with an interesting offer. That doesn't sound good. You don't know the half of it. She invited us to join her serpent cult. When our leader, Milvern One Sword, refused, she struck him dead on the spot. That really brought the group around. Most of them joined the cult straight away. But you didn't join up? No. Me and a few others played along for a while, but we slipped away before things got too intense. Capturing constellations, creating giant monsters, that's just not something we enjoy doing. So now you're competing in the arena? We formed a new troop. They lost swords. I'd rather fight alongside a few trusted companions than be part of an army of mind addled snake cultists. Well, hope Nel Dier, broken sword, that your sword is not actually broken. Let's speak to this, um. Rasa! No? Rasa does not speak. 
and I'm stuck on the campfire. Mm, empty, empty, empty. Goes back down. Interesting tent there. Oh, Chanty Arena. Let's have a look at this. Is your group ready for the ultimate challenge? Come to Dragon Star Arena and battle for a place in history. So you get out the battle master to join the greatest fight of all time on this or any other plane of existence. Opponents are standing by. Make sure your fear is in order before arriving. Mm-hmm. I don't have a group. This one does not speak. That one's a guard. That one does not speak. Did dear gamets. If you're stonefish material, then I'm the king of Shornhelm. Move along and don't look back, sour tart. It actually looks like an orcish armor. Daughter. No utensils required. We don't stand on ceremony here. Dig in. Oh. We should be. Got these. Mm hmm. Chris Magica. Now, what I wouldn't mind is something that, um. Yeah. I've got these recipes. No one, no one, no one, no one. Oh, sorry, I can make them myself. Whole stug the black. Ignores everyone around. Whole stug ignores everything around him. Fight! Excuse me. Whole stug fight! Oh. Will I ban the meek? Uh, please, leave Holstag be. He's had a trying day. Who are you? Me? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a humble servant. A nobody. Uh, pay me no mind. You're a dark elf. Hmm. What are you doing here? You want to know what I do? Well, it's my privilege to serve the mighty Holstag. I mend his clothes, fix his meals, polish his armor, sharpen his axe, that sort of thing. Also, can't do that himself. Oh no, friend, no he can't. He's far too busy. He's just standing there. It may look that way, but rest assured, he carries a heavy burden. Holstag needs to maintain fierce focus at all times. He's very excitable. Too much stimulation, and, well... Accidents happen. Accidents? He doesn't always know when a fight is socially acceptable. And he's always ready for a battle. Sometimes he attacks a block of wood or a rock. Maybe some livestock. Other times, well... You don't want to be near Holstag at the wrong time. Will Holstag fight in the arena? He's expressed interest, I think. It's hard to tell. Holstag isn't much of a conversationalist. I'd actually prefer he stayed out of there. We could use the gold, but I don't want to see him hurt anyone. He always feels bad when he hurts someone. How did you and Holstag get together? I was a farmer back in Deshaun. I wasn't rich or anything, but I managed to make ends meet. One day, while I was hauling my crop to market, I found Holstag in a gully. He was clutching his hand and crying like a baby netch. Why was Holstag crying? He had a splinter stuck in his palm. It was huge, like a dagger it was. It took forever to calm him down so I could look at it, but as soon as I removed it, he became peaceful. We've been fast friends ever since. Why did you leave the farm? Well, as I said, Holstag gets easily excited. When he killed that guar with his bare hands, I knew he had a talent that could earn us more than my crops ever would. Holstag doesn't talk much, but there's never a dull moment when we're together. Hmm. I think you're basically like a manager exploiting him. What's your cut? 95%? Perhaps? Yes. And nobody else is here speaks. This must play nicely. Yeah.
got him at the end of the song. That's not Why lovely. the sour look, friend? Come, dance and make merry. Nothing like the threat of a gruesome death to make you feel truly alive. Yeah. Go sword next to him. Let's see how he fights. Unfortunately, we're not on nine time, so um, let me go into the arena and have a look. Okay. See what we can see there. It's going to be another bit of a longish one, even though it's not yet 12 minutes, but probably will shortly be. Ooh, big door. And I'm guessing because I'm by myself, either it'll ask me for a group or say, it's free candy and done. Might be some other restrictions as well, but we're about to find out, aren't we? I guess I could look it up online, but um, it is fun and exploring by yourself, isn't there? Empty, empty, empty. Oh, more people to talk to! Arches. That Aspera lady is one strange acorn. I don't know who she is, but I have a feeling she's important. Maybe she just thinks she's important. Yeah, and, 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 and you, sir? My sister is good with a bow, but I'm better. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, voices. Oh, all right. I need another ale. By Moloch's right nostril, I need another barrel of ale! Ah. Chumlock. I'd feel better if I had just a few more mugs of ale before we go in there. I hate fighting when I'm not completely inebriated. An idiot. My companions are just angry because I drank all the ale. What can I say? I was thirsty! I'll take you all on. You remind me of Norgrim Bloodhand and his group of warriors. Fierce, capable, but on a good show. They fed their remains to the Guar out back. I don't think Guar ate, mate. Do not add to my problems. A trusted team is the key to victory. Mm -hmm. yeah, those two are red guards. <laughs> How about we talk to the champion Merkeld on the next episode? This is Dex, uh, Isidorf signing off. Be well. <laughs> <laughs>